Hello everyone, welcome again to our channel. Uh, so this video is for you that uh, is watching every single video about the DOE. So let's time to talk. Uh, it's time to talk about uh, planning. How to obtain, how to get, how to create the data table that we will use to put our data and start the analysis. So, uh, to, to record this video, I have here some factor relationship diagrams, okay? Something that we see uh, during the Six Sigma trainings, for example. Uh, I have here three examples that I think that can help you. If you have a different example, uh, uh, for sure, uh, watching this video until the end, you will know and, and understand how to perform this with your own example. So the first one, we have here a DOE that uh, has to be run in a machine. We have three different factors, two levels, each one, and uh, these three different factors uh, resulting in a uh, eight different combinations and only one uh, response variable will be measured, okay? The second one is a four-factor DOE, two-level. Uh, we have here 16 different combinations or something that we call treatments, okay? So it's a full factorial as well, but here we have five different parts for each combination of factors. And the last one is that one that uh, I told you in the last videos that this one is the most used around the world, okay? Because you can optimize your resources. So here we have eight different factors, two levels each one, but is a fractional factorial design. With eight factor, we have 16 treatments, 16 different combinations. And this one, uh, instead of putting uh, more parts for each combination, I put here more than one response variable. I have here three different Ys. So if you will, you will measure uh, different um, variables, different characteristics in your uh, part, in your project, you can add uh, as well in your data table. So let's start with the example one. So where in Jump we can do this? My Jump is already open here. You can see here the, the menu bar. So you have here a place called DOE, Design of Experiments. So you have a lot of different places that you can perform or create a data table for your DOE. So for me, the easiest way uh, is not the easy DOE, right? Okay, I understood what Jump uh, did here. For those that know the theory about DOE, is very nice working with this. But for you that's coming here and trying to understand how to create an, a data table for your DOE, I strongly recommend you to go in this classical two-level screening, screening design, okay? In this place here, you will have a field uh, to put all the information about your why. You can maximize, match target, minimize or none here. If you uh, customize this, the moment that you are uh, playing with your prediction profiler, you will have this desirability function already optimized, okay? So, is the full maximize here. You can change this later on, but let's focus in our experiment here. So, we have three different factors. Where to put this? Here, three different factors. Continuous. Oh my God, my, my, but my factors are categorical or discrete. Okay, it doesn't matter at this time if your 
factors are continuous or not. You just want the data table. Remember that. So you put here factor A, factor B and factor C. Continue. Choose from a list or of fraction, fractional factor designs. So you will have a list of the possible designs that we can have with those three factors. So it's a full factorial. So we will choose this one. Why not this or this? Because you can see here there is a block size 4 and 2. We don't use the block size here. Okay, let's use this one that there is no block size. Continue. And here, the last part before making the table, uh, you I strongly recommend, recommend again to put here sort left to right. The moment that you put sort left to right, your data table uh, will be organized from the minus to the plus. Minus to the pluses, okay? So if you put randomize here, all the combinations will be randomized. No, I want to have this sorted uh, from left to right. So make table and now we have our data table. The combination number one is here, number two, number three, number four and so on. But where is the column called combination? So you can just create this with the right click here, insert column, call this uh, combination, let's combinations, okay, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and now you are ready. This column called pattern are the, uh, the, the, the combinations of the, the signals of your factor. So minus, 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 plus, and so on. Okay, guys, this is the first example, this simple, the simplest one, okay? Let's close this. Let's go to the example number two. Let's close this as well. This example we have in a machine, a DOE that uh, has to be planned and ex executed with four different factors, 16 different combinations, but for each combination we will have uh, to collect or measure five different parts, okay? So let's go there. DOE, classical, two-level screening, screening design. One response variable, four different factors, continuous, A, B, C, and D, continue, chose from a list, it's a full factorial, again, there's no block size here, full factorial, continue, sort left to right, and now we have to change the number of replicates. Okay, I want to have uh, five parts. So if I put five parts here, it's gonna be wrong. You have to replicate your data table four times. Sorry, four times. If you put zero here, you will have a 16 rows data table. If you replicate this data table four times more, you will have five parts for each treatment. Let's see it. Make table. Look, we should have eight, 80 parts, 80 uh, different rows. And we have this, 80 different rows we have here. So let's put here the combinations to understand what is happening here. Let's put here the treatments or combinations. One, 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 and one, because the first five uh, rows, they are exactly the same, because I replicated uh, four times that single row that I would have, okay? So the second 
treatment, the second pattern here is the treatment number two. So it is being repeated five times. And more five, five more here. And we can select those, right click, fill, and continue sequence to the end of the table. So we will have 16 different treatments or combinations for those four different factors in two levels. If you want to add the column called parts, you can do this as well, parts. So one, two, three, let's just write this one, two, three, right click, continue to the end of the table. So we will have 80 different parts 16 different combinations of those four different factors. If you do this, you won't be wrong, okay? You can just fulfill this column and start your DOE analysis. Let's go to the last one, example number three. The example number three is different because we have eight factors 16 different treatments, so it's not a full factorial design. If we had a full factorial design, we would have 256 different possible combinations uh, between those eight factors, okay? Now, we don't have uh, replicates, but we have more than one Y. So let's do this in jump. DOE. Classical two level screening, screening design. I will add responses here, two more uh, response variables. I will add eight factors called A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Okay, continue. Let's choose uh, what we need here. So remember that we need a 16 uh, runs, number of runs, no block size, fractional factorial, for resolution, continue, sort left to right, no replicates, and make table. All the combinations that we need here are in this data table, okay? The same thing about the treatments or combinations. Let's put this here, combinations. So one, two, three, right click, fill until the end. So now we have our data table for the most used or the most common DOE in the world. Eight different factors, 16 uh, rows, 16 combinations, and different responsive variables that you will measure in your machine, in your lab, or whatever. Okay, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.